All right, headed to work. The recital that's coming up, I'm singing a preview for some of the patrons today, some of the patrons of the ROC, what I'm wearing. Um, I'm gonna try and sneak the camera in to get a bit, but I might not be able to, so we'll see. And I'm back in the elevator. So I wasn't allowed to film in the recital, but uh, it's the it's the recital that I'll be um, it's the recital that's going to be recorded on the radio and released. So I will let you guys know when that happens. And for the recording, I think I'm going to be able to bring the camera in. So. Hey guys, so since you saw me a few days ago a little under the weather due to alcohol, I wanted to do a special video on the effects of alcohol. And not, I'm, I'm gonna try and not be too academic. I'm somebody that's very analytical. When I see, when I see something I don't understand, I wanna understand it more, and I wanna understand it in an analytical way. So I read, I do research, and I try and become a little more educated about it. So I figured I would do kind of an animated video to show what happens when you drink. Also to point out kind of why I don't really go out drinking very often. This video is gonna mainly be about alcohol in the brain because alcohol in the voice is a totally different story. Um, I hope it's not boring, but you know, if it gets too boring, you could just watch the vlog tomorrow. That should be cool. <laughs> Disclaimer, I am not a doctor, obviously. I have no medical training, I don't know anything other than what I read. I try to find reputable sources that are trustworthy, so I'm gonna do my best and hopefully try and make it a little fun. So the first part of the brain that's affected is the cerebral cortex, highlighted here in blue. It's an outer layer of neural tissue that actually exists in all humans and mammals. The cerebral cortex actually plays a key role in memory, attention, perception, awareness, thought, language, and consciousness. I'm sure that's not surprising to any of you who have drank before. If you're looking at a picture of the brain, it's actually the layer that you see that's all wrinkly and that has fissures and stuff. The next section of the brain that's affected is called the cerebellum, highlighted in red. It's the region of the brain that plays a really important role in motor control. That important role is muscle coordination. The cerebral cortex initiates movement by sending messages through the medulla to the spinal cord to the muscles. As these signals pass through the medulla, they are influenced by nerve impulses from the cerebellum. These cerebellum nerve impulses control fine movements, which include balance and basic things like walking, which is why when you're drunk, cops ask you to walk a straight line. This is step two on your way to being vastly too drunk. The next area of the brain to be affected is the hypothalamus and pituitary gland highlighted in green, or like a teal or something. The most important functions of the hypothalamus is its link to the nervous system and endocrine system via the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus controls body temperature, hunger, important aspects of parenting and attachment behaviors, thirst, fatigue, sleep, and circadian rhythms. The hypothalamus also controls sexual arousal, making you more aroused but less able to, uh, you know, stand up to the plate and Hit it out of the park, I guess. <laughs> Alcohol also affects this part of the brain by inhibiting the pituitary secretion, which affects urine and excretion. This explains why you have to go to the bathroom so much when you drink. Your kidneys can absorb the water. Last but definitely not least, alcohol affects the medulla, which we'll say is right here. It's anterior to the cerebellum. And we'll use purple for this one because it's clearly the sexiest color. At this point, you've drank enough to get alcohol poisoning, and your brain is completely seeped in alcohol. The medulla influences or controls body functions that occur automatically, important things such as heart rate, temperature, and breathing. 
When alcohol reaches the medulla, a person will start to feel sleepy. Increased drinking can lead to becoming unconscious, and if in excess, can be fatal, because it shuts down the medulla entirely. These are some of the ways alcohol affects the brain. Now, just to put that in perspective, this is just the brain. Alcohol also affects the body. It penetrates every cell in the human body and causes all organs and body functions to be affected. And heavy long-term use can do some serious damage. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, now you know, hopefully, a little more about alcohol and the brain. And if any of you out there do have medical training and I was wrong on anything, I'm sorry, feel free to let me know and everyone else know down in comments. And if you enjoyed the video or whatever, let me know in the comments. Uh, I always like reading the comments and hearing from you guys. I hope you enjoyed our little animated feature today. And uh, I'm gonna end the vlog in five, four, three, two, now.